Yes, I'm back guys, <clears throat> and today uh, I'm going to be changing out my exhaust on the Colorado. So, in the past what I had done was remove the muffler and just put a straight dump pipe, which uh, ends up stopping just short of the rear axle. Um, it gave it a, at that stage when I did it, I thought it gave it a bit of a different sound, which it did. Now I'm just sick of the droning. It's just loud all the time, so I'm putting a three inch exhaust, um, turbo back exhaust uh, with a muffler. So hopefully that will increase the airflow a little bit, um, but also get rid of the droning sound and it should be pretty straightforward. The hard part will be getting the dump pipe off the back of the turbo. So uh, the rest of it should be pretty easy. So let's see how we go. Okay, so this is the existing exhaust. So that's going to be the hard bit up in there where it connects to the turbo. So you've just got uh, a flexible section here. I mean, this is just a stock exhaust. Stock, stock, stock. And then this is where the straight pipe bolts on. You can see it there. Just forward of the rear axle. <coughs> I might actually start the car so you can hear the sound it makes. Okay, so we're going to start at the back and pull out the old exhaust. This is the easy bit, so we'll start here. Hopefully it's the easy bit. Okay, so this next one has three bolts. And bear in mind I have sprayed all of these with some uh, WD-40 just to loosen them off. Hopefully it helps. It's tight, but that's fair enough, it should be. Not too tight, that's good. Just a tip, make sure you keep all these nuts and bolts just in case you get it off and find that you've been given the wrong one out of stock and you might have to put this one back on just make sure you keep track of all the bits and pieces until you know it's the job's done Okay, so now we're left with this section. Now if I bring this up here, you can see there's a heat shield I need to remove. So right here is a heat shield. So I've got to try and get these off first to access the bolts that bolt on to the turbo. And I may actually have to attack that from above in the bonnet engine bay. 
Okay, so in the engine bay here, you can see way down here is where the right there that is one of the exhaust bolts there that the dump pipe uh, hooks onto the turbo. So there's four of those. I think I may have to remove this heat shield just to get in there. Now if we have a look at the new dump pipe. So this is the shape that it is. There's four volts, one, two, three, four that connect to the turbo. So that's only one of them. There'll be another one just behind this, just under there, and the other two will be up in under there. So I need to get rid of this heat shield. Um, not only that, there's a couple of mounting points to the transmission, which I have to try and get to from underneath. It's going to be fun. Um, but anyway, let's get this heat shield off and see how we go. Okay, I've managed to move the heat shield just enough that you can now see the other set of bolts in there. That was a nightmare. I had to disconnect this sensor, the air sensor, take out the uh, pipe there. Hopefully it's enough that I can just unbolt that now. Okay, I think I've finally got this all disconnected. To be honest, the hardest part was this stupid bracket up in here. I don't know how they expect you to get up in there to disconnect this bracket. Where is it? That one. That is ridiculous. Anyway, hopefully this should now come out. Let's have a look. Okay, you wouldn't believe how long it took me to get this out. Anyway, first thing to do is double check you've got the right attachment to the turbo. That looks pretty good. Looks like it should fit. Okay, so next step is to get this back in and then reattach everything. Okay, so I've got the damp pipe bolted on up there on the turbo. And that's where we're at. Now the only thing I've noticed here with this DEA exhaust that I've got is the bracket. You can see the bracket here. So that's the mounting bracket. Now the, the OEM one is over here. So that's how the, o, the OEM was attached. I've just got to tighten those two nuts up there. So I've had to make a little joining piece just out of some scrap that I've got so this will connect the hanger bracket to the mounting bracket on the diff there um, anyway so that was a bit annoying but I need to take some weight off off the uh, turbo bolts so I can't just leave that free hanging anyway so that'll do the job so now I will continue towards the back of the car so between each one of these joins, obviously there's a gasket, which comes with the kit. Now, either side of the gasket, I'm using some muffler sealer just to make sure it's fully sealed. Um, and then on the bolts, I'm just gonna put some anti-seize just to make sure they don't lock up. If I ever wanna get it apart. Now, I don't need any Loctite, these are locking washers, uh, locking nuts on there. All 
Okay, so we're up to putting the muffler in. Now, if you're trying to do this on your own and you need another set of hands, just put a tie around one of the um, supports just to hold that end up um, because it will flex on the, the flexible coupling down there. So I've just got that there so I can get the muffler in position and bolt it up. And after that it should be fine because we've got two hangers on the muffler. Okay, that's the finished product. All the way through. Muffler. And then the pipe which actually goes over the goes over the axle. Okay, now let's start the car.